top emerging trends in the software testing is it only the ai which is getting basically added into the automation or even for the manual testing or there are other things or emerging trends also that you should know guys many people many students told me ki sir is ai going to replace and is it the only ai coming no the answer is no guys there are other four more trends that you should know as an automation tester as a manual tester as a fresher to for this okay in 2025 these are the important trends that you should know it's going to be a very small video but trust me there are things which are going in market like codeless tools shift left testing the codeless other tools testing of iot's and many other thing which is a new thing which is integrated security testing dev sec ops which is basically coming also apart from the ai which is very very important so let's get started let's understand these five important trends that you also should know as an automation tester as a manual tester also all right i know many of you are stuck and you want to learn new skills and everything right so that's where i will tell you to research more about it i'm going to give you a high level overview what are the trends that you should be aware first one is of course ai power test automation optimization you know we are using chat gpt generative ai ai agents nowadays there are two things which are getting very very popular first one is definitely which is called as the generative ai especially which i have where i have also created a documentation and a tutorial series also you can see on my playlist section how to use generative ai in test automation this is one thing which is used where people are generated test plan test cases test scenarios test uh, your uh, it can basically help in your error finding it can basically help you in bug reporting and many many things which is the important thing even though even self healing which is also a part of the ai automation and something which is also but the second important thing which i want to highlight that you should be aware about this is this which is apart from test case generation test optimization dynamic test maintenance de de defect prediction so ai is nowadays i know there are platforms where they can basically predict your defects i think this is those are the things which are basically going even the continuous learning and everything which is going now second point that trend that you should be aware is something called as shift left and shift right test what is it means whenever software is getting developed you are introduced early into the system testers are nowadays are adding early i remember shift left testing where browser sec people i when i was in qa lead in browser sec right we whenever the requirements are there qa lead or qa people will be always there in the from the requirement side it is called as shift left testing which means while the software is getting built we are preparing the test plan and test cases side by side and this exactly how it has happened it will basically is course effective if we will we are able to catch more bugs qa has the more number of context and those are the things which are coming apart from this so read about it shift left testing and shift right testing which is coming which is more and more helpful which means uh, developers who are basically writing the codes right nowadays what will happen is QAs who are basically part of early, they can also write some of the codes and they can help you more in the software. Test. Third important thing which is coming, which is called as codeless and low code tool. Guys, tools like Tosca, which is basically getting very popular, Catalon, which is getting more and more popular. Right, there are Parasoft things, Test Rigor. There are a lot of codeless tools and everything which are coming that you should be aware of it. But my strategy is what I certainly say is. learn java api and selenium first then learn the uh, tools like tosca get to learn and everything because i know there are number of opportunity which are getting increased in tosca as well as get to learn so if you are planning that okay i want to learn tosca i have coding fear or something i don't want to go for for the a uh, very in depth coding or something which is there for automation tester i want to go i uh, by learning a tool tosca is something that i recommend catalon is something i recommend you can go with the low code or low code tool also fourth important point which is the testing of iot's guys in techion also we have lot of things which is internet of things whereas we have chips we have certain hardware which we want to test side by side also which means these are the devices which are connected to internet for example toll scanning of car whenever you basically take your car the scanning of fastag and everything those are also hardware that you need to test which are internet of things they are connected over the internet also so those is something that is which is increasing there are lot of internet things are coming new and new robots new and new hardware are coming so you can also put yourself into internet things also side by side last important point which is the fifth one which is integrated security test which means there are many 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 people who are now as a qa they are switching towards the security testing as well as performance testing which means how exactly your softwares are behaving in performance how they are basically going towards security people please remember 
if you are testing an api you need to do performance and security also so i remember we also got many project i also got a security testing project where i have to do a security validation or by using top os vulnerabilities i need to test in that api which was there so you can you can also wear this hat where you can go towards security you can go towards performance and you can even go with development plus security devops kind of a thing which will basically help you after the product is ready you are checking for security you are checking for performance you are overall responsible for managing this thing also qa can also go there also. so now qas have five important choices which is go towards ai learn the shift left uh, concepts uh, go towards the codeless go towards the iot things and go towards the devops ops also these are the five important trends in 2025 which are working right now because modern things which is ai is coming step left testing is coming iot's are coming codeless tools are coming and testing of llms which is another bonus which i want to tell you uh, people are building lot of llms large models like chat gpt cloud.ai google gemini are getting built right those somebody will have to test also right those things also are coming into this so software testing is here to stay but these are the things important trends which are going on i hope video this video helps thanks for watching and what do you think what are the top trends in the software testing in the 2025 let me know in the chat give it a like and share with video with anyone who was more interested in the software testing thanks a lot i'll see you in the next video bye bye enjoy